Finally then, the fifth fact. God is active in the world and will soon send back his son to set up his kingdom. We've seen the idea that God is active in our lives if we fear him. But he's also active on the bigger picture, on the stage of the world. He's, he's in control and when everything seems chaotic we can be absolutely certain, the Bible says, God is working out his purpose according to his plan. And he's going to send back his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. He's at work with leaders, we read in Daniel. The Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men and gives it to whomsoever he will. So it's not random. God is choosing according to who he puts in power. The leaders of the world do what seems right to them based upon the circumstances that they see in front of them. But his angels arrange the circumstances so that the decisions they take are in line with God's purpose. That's what we understand to be the case. And there are all kinds of things in the Bible that give us certainty and evidence that God is indeed in control. I've already referred to the fact, the remarkable fact, that the nation of Israel is once again in the land of Israel. Just as the Bible predicted after thousands of years, a nation scattered it from its homeland that should have ceased to exist by any normal reckoning. And yet, just as the Bible said, return to their land. Jerusalem even to be trodden down of non-Jews until the time came that would herald the coming again of the Lord Jesus Christ. We read in Luke 21. And when the Lord comes, a time of peace and prosperity across the earth. I'm not turning to Psalm 72 now, but if, if you look at it, you find this beautiful picture of a time when the poor are not oppressed, when there is peace, across the four corners of the world, when every inhabitant finds their fulfilment and ultimately in serving the God who created them. The simple truth of the Bible is that we can be chasing fulfilment and satisfaction simply for ourselves and it gets us nowhere. As the old song said, I can't get no satisfaction. The Bible says you've got to go beyond that. If, if all you're doing is seeking yourself, you won't find it. And ultimately, in serving God and his purpose and seeking to help others along that road is what he holds out. I need not fear what I see unfolding on the news and in the world around me. Fearful and frightening as events will be, I know God is in control. When these things begin to happen, we read in Luke 21. Jesus tells me I am encouraged that he is soon to return to the earth. He will bring peace to this troubled world, ensure the hungry are fed, and everyone will find ultimate meaning for their lives in serving their creator. So there's our five facts. A loving heavenly father, who cares for me. A resurrected saviour who loves me. A living word to guide me. <coughs> Angels at work in my life. God at work in the world. Now that isn't, I'm not pretending that's the whole teaching of the Bible or all the wonderful details of the truth that God has revealed by no means, but these are five things I can hold on to and I can remember every day. And just before we finish, 